When it comes to protecting our electronic devices, we typically think of surge protectors first. But what if I told you not all surge protectors are created equally? And more importantly, what if I told you that not all of them actually protect your electronics from surges at all, like this one here? This is, in fact, a power strip and not a surge protector. So if you have power strips in your home, you might think your electronic devices are protected, but in fact, they have no protection whatsoever. So first up, let's talk about some things you can look for when selecting a surge protector, and then we'll get into some more advanced things that you can use in order to protect your investment in your electronics in your house. If you're curious about your existing devices, you can also look for a UL sticker on the back of your device, and this should tell you whether or not it is a surge strip or if it's just a simple power tap. Another way you can tell is it should have information stamped on the back that tells you what it's rated for in terms of protection. The first thing you want to look for in a surge strip is whether or not it's actually a surge strip or if it's just a power strip. If it's a surge strip, it'll have a jewels. surge strips, you might want to go ahead and replace those because if they're worn out and you have an electrical surge, then it's not going to do anything to protect your home devices. Now, some surge strips have an indicator light on them saying whether or not the surge protection is still working or if the device needs to be replaced, but other ones don't. So I'd recommend that your surge strips are replaced every few years just to be safe, especially on those devices that you want to be sure they're protected during electrical surges. Now, if you have electronics like computers, like desktop computers and things like that, you might want to also think about investing in what's called a UPS or an uninterruptible power supply. So UPS is kind of the next level above a standard surge strip. And instead of just protecting your plugged in equipment from electrical surges, it will also protect your equipment if you happen to have a power failure and the power goes out. This is a really great feature for computers because if you pull the power on a desktop computer or something like a Mac mini or an iMac or something like that that doesn't have a battery, like a laptop does, then the computer is just going to shut down. It's going to be really hard on the electronics on the computer, and you might even lose data. So having a UPS is a great alternative in those locations to protect not only your electronic devices, but also your data as well. The way a UPS works is it has a battery built into it. So as soon as the power would happen to go out at your house, the battery power would kick in and would continue to power the devices that are plugged into it. Another great feature for UPSs is that some of them will actually clean up the power too. So sometimes power coming out of your electrical station will be what they call dirty, which is just power that's not in a standard sine wave. It doesn't flow consistently, it's more jagged, and that's hard on electronic devices. So with some UPSs, this will actually clean up that dirty power and provide you clean power to your electronics, which will in turn extend the life of your devices. If you want specific product recommendations of things that can protect your house from electrical surges, I'll have a link in the video description below that you can go and check out after the video is over. Now, one thing I will caution you about though, is if you have all this protection in place, so you have a surge strip or you have a UPS, or even if you have a whole house surge protection system like I'm about to talk about here in a second, then you don't have to worry about unplugging your electronic devices during a thunderstorm, during lightning strikes. Now, the truth of the matter is while surge strips can and do protect your devices against any kind of electrical surge that might be caused by lightning, they cannot protect against a direct lightning strike. So if lightning happens to hit your house directly or in too close of proximity, then your surge strips really aren't gonna do anything. So it's always best practice that if you know a thunderstorm is coming or if you're having a lot of lightning in your area to be proactive and go ahead and unplug those electronic devices if at all possible. Another thing you should be aware of when it comes to surge protection is something called a connected equipment warranty. And what that is is basically a warranty that for anything connected into that device, if it happens to fail because of an electrical surge, then that company will cover the replacement of that device or those devices that are plugged into that protection. Now, while that sounds good, a word of caution here, you wanna make sure that you understand the terms and conditions for those warranties, because a lot of times they'll have statements in them that basically say things like if you have a direct lightning strike or some other conditions occur, that they still won't cover those devices that are plugged into that surge protection. So you just wanna be aware of when you're selecting a surge strip or something else that protects your home electronics, that you understand what the warranty covers and what it doesn't cover. Something I found a lot of people aren't aware of is that you can get surge protection for your entire home. You can do this by installing a whole house surge protector. So instead of just protecting one outlet or a few devices plugged into a surge strip, you can protect everything that's plugged in in your house, light fixtures, everything. And with whole house surge protection, you can still combine that with standard surge strips or a UPS for those sensitive electronic devices. Now, the way that whole house surge protection works is it's a device that connects to your electrical panel. So that means it does have to be installed. It does have to be wired in in place. So this is not something I'd recommend if you're just looking for a quick fix when it comes to surge protection. 
But if you're looking for that next level of protection, I'd recommend looking into a whole house surge protector and understanding what it would take to get that installed in your home. Be sure to hit the like button if you haven't already. And also be sure to check out this video next. I'm sure you'll like it too. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.